57. Good stuff. Yo, what's up guys, it's Drabbers, and this video is just going to be a quick little tutorial video on how I get motion blur in my YouTube videos, and I just want to show you using the DaVinci Resolve free editing software that you can download just by looking it up. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it, but before we start the video, I just want to say a big thank you to all you guys uh, who have been supporting my videos. We're at, as of right now, about 220 subscribers, which is huge. I've gained about you know 80 90 subscribers in the past two days which is huge for me and we've gotten almost 20,000 views on one of my motion blur test videos which is amazing thank you guys so much um but yeah let's get right into the video show you guys how i do things so you want to go to the media and you want to go here and we're going to drag a clip in so we're going to go let's grab this clip right here i'm just going to grab this one for uh for the use of this video so you're gonna go right here but before you place it in the editing tab you're gonna go up here to file and you're going to go to project settings and you're going to change all these settings so it will automatically change the video format to these settings so I like to do custom 2560 by 1440 um, that's just because you know it's higher than 1080p it gives a better quality but it's not too heavy on the um the processing for 4k and then the timeline rate we want it at 60 fps just for better uh quality and video format i like to put it at 720p 60 so it doesn't heat up my computer too much when um when editing videos i like to put the data levels at full and for the sake of this video, I'm not going to use optical flow, so I'm just going to keep the read time process at nearest, but there is an option for optical flow if you guys want to use it there. So I'm just going to save it like that, and yes, you want to change the project frame rate. So next up, you're going to go to edit, you're going to drag your clip into this edit. Then you're going to make these little cuts right here, and that will fade in and fade out your video. And you could also do it to the sound. I'm not going to add music to this video just because um for the sake of this video it's gonna be a quick one so just make the cuts there and then next up you're gonna go to the fusion tab it's like a little magic wand on the bottom of your screen and you're gonna keep this selected see the red um outline around it you're gonna keep it selected you're gonna click control and then the space bar together it's gonna pop open the select tool tab then you want to click optical flow if you guys want to use optical flow i'm not going to use it for this video but you would just look up that optical flow you would add it and drag it in i'm not going to use it for this video just because i haven't been using it um and it's mostly for 30 fps videos um but i just want to show the solely the rsmb so you're just going to cl click rsmb and you'll find it i'm going to link this rsmb download in the description for you guys to download it's going to look russian i'm pretty sure that's the one i'm going to use um, it's gonna look Russian, it's gonna look like it's a virus. I thought it was a virus personally, but after doing some research, I found it was completely safe for your computer, so it's okay to download it. And then once you download it, it will just go directly into your computer, and DaVinci Resolve will um, recognize it as a tool. So you know, you can click this RSMB and click Add. And then RSMB will be in here, and I like to drag it over here by holding Shift and um, left click to pick it up and then drop it right here and then you can notice the screen starts getting a little blurred um and that's a good sign that means it's working if it comes up red completely red that should be fine there should be no problems there if, it, if your whole screen's red just make sure that in the processing when i go to deliver just make sure it's doing the rendering okay and you see it going through the render um but that's sometimes a glitch that happens it's completely fine the blur amt i like to do between 0.20 and 0.30 um but for the sake of this video i'll do 0.24 that's just what i'm comfortable at personally and i always keep the set the sensitivity at 70 i tried 65 and it's just not enough um so 70 is just a really good sensitivity and just make sure this is over either to the right or in the middle just somewhere you don't want it too close to your media in um just so the just so the video flows and then you would add optical flow over on this left side on this blue um, portion when you hover over it. So next, let's go over to the, to the deliver tab, and I'll show you guys what settings I use. So you know we'll just name this video um, YouTube Vid Test, um, and 
location, you know, choose your location. Uh, I'm not gonna choose my location, of course, I don't wanna open my files, but uh, for the codec, or for the format, I mean, you wanna make sure it's MP4. I don't have to change it because it's already set at that, but just make sure it's an MP4 because sometimes it's, it's DXP or DPX or DCP or Cineon. Sometimes it just automatically goes to that depending on your file format, um, but just make sure it's an MP4. The codec is not that important. Uh, make sure all your settings are good, resolution's good, frame rate's good. Uh, the keyframes, this is very important. For the best quality video, you want to click this every tab and then just hold left click and drag all the way to the right to make sure it goes to the max, which is 31 frames. Then you're going to go into advanced settings and I like to put data levels on full and I go scroll more down and then you want to force sizing to highest quality and force debayer to highest quality. Make sure they're both checked. You want to add it to the render queue and I'm just going to put this into YouTube videos and we're going to start the render. And as you can see, the render process is very short um, just because, uh, you know, it's a quick little video. It's like 14 second video or something. Um, but for if you're using large files, it's going to take upwards to an hour. I've had videos process for over eight hours and it was a 30 minute video it, and it gets absurd. Um, but it also is dependent on, you know, your Wi-Fi connection, how good your PC is at, you know, going through the processing and rendering. Uh, but yeah, and it should show, you know, it rendering at the bottom left, as you can see, and then on your screen, on your media, uh, you can see it with the nice motion blur. It looks crisp, it looks smooth, and everything like that. And yeah, and it was done in 43 seconds. Um, thank you for watching this tutorial. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and thank you all for the support recently. And I'll see you guys in the next video.